not every drug your doctor gives you for inflammation is going to work. Not every antibiotic is going to work against infection and inflammation. Not every chemo and radiation is going to work against cancer. But a proper immune system will always work to fight infection, to detect cancer cells, and to heal your body properly all the time. It's been doing it for years and it can be rebuilt when you need it the most. What is inflammation and how to get rid of it? How do you know if you have inflammation? How do you know if what your problem is is caused by inflammation? You know you have inflammation when there's swelling. You can have swelling in your legs, you can feel swollen, you can have swelling inside your intestines causing bloating, you can have swelling in your head. Any swelling is a sign of inflammation. Another sign of inflammation is pain. You can have pain that comes and goes. You can have slight pain and then it will go away. You can have extreme pain that doesn't go away. We grade pain by how much of our lifestyle we lose. We go to the dentist when our teeth rots. Some of us don't go to the dentist right away. We just start chewing on the other side. If ice cream causes extreme pain, then we try to eat ice cream without having it touch our teeth. Or we push it to the back of our mouth. If hot soups cause extreme pain, then we let it cool down before we eat. We go to the doctors when we have a tummy ache. We know eating a bag of corn chips is bad for us. We know drinking a case of beer three days in a row without food is bad for us. Why do we do it? We know eating cake and donuts instead of regular meals is bad for us. So when we can't continue to eat these foods, we go to our doctors for a pill so we can continue to eat the foods we enjoy the most. We go to a chiropractor when our back locks up. We know we should exercise more. We know we should be doing exercises to strengthen our core and back muscles. We know we should not be eating so much sugar, but there were too many dinners happening, too many friends, too many family dinners. We couldn't miss any of them. And you couldn't stop yourself. You might detect redness and increased temperature. That's increased blood circulation causing redness and temperature and your lymph circulation slowing down causing swelling. More blood going to your skin causes a fever. Your body is fighting an infection in your blood. It needs to cool off. So blood goes to the surface to release heat. When we get too hot, we can injure our brains and nerves. Babies and children are really sensitive to increased temperature. You might have a sprained ankle or a knee or a neck or you've been hit hard enough to create a bruise. The injury breaks cells. The internal parts of the cells signals the immune system requires cleaning. There are two types of your immune system. The immune system activates and starts cleaning up cell parts, broken cells. This immune system takes cell parts and moves it into the lymph circulation to be eliminated. This is part of the healing process. You can't make new cells until the old cells are removed. The best example is when we break a bone. At the point of the bone fracture, when two bones break, the immune system takes more bone off. This creates a surface for red blood cells to attach and create a clot, a clot that connects two bones together. Then the other part of the immune system that activates the infection to fight infection. This has nothing to do with healing. This has everything to do with fighting infections. This is not your cleaning immune system. This is second immune system activating to fight bacteria, viruses, 
fungus, mold, and parasites. This immune system is activated by the cleaning immune system. The cleaning immune system detects destroyed cells. Bacteria, viruses, fungus, mold, and parasites are not good guests. They latch on and try to survive in our bodies. They need to feed. They need to spread. This destroys more healthy cells. Destroyed cells signal the cleaning immune system. If the cleaning immune system stays active for more than a few days, then it suspects an infection and activates the infection fighting immune system. There is another part of the immune system during this process. It's a smaller group and this immune system activates to seek out non-optimal cells. Cells that are old, cells that are toxic, cells that are no longer able to make healthy hormones, enzymes, can't work properly. This is a different system than the cleaning and the infection fighting immune system. This immune system is responsible for identifying and destroying cancer cells. Long-term inflammation creates part of the immune system to become inactive. This immune system needs to be rebuilt in order to be immune to cancer. This is what people call about building the immune system to fight cancer again. Many times we forget about this part of the immune system until the doctor finds cancer. Then we go off trying to fight cancer. We don't have to fight cancer. We have to activate this small portion of our immune system to fight cancer for us. Anti-cancer immune system is a combination of fighting and the cleaning immune system. It detects non-optimal cells without being injured so there are cells that are not destroyed by viruses, bacteria, parasites, mold, fungus, but they're old. They're not supposed to be there anymore. Get it out. Non-optimal cells have characteristics of normal cells. You don't want your immune system to attack normal cells. That's autoimmune disease. We'll talk about that later. Anti-cancer immune system has to be able to sort out the normal cells and non-optimal cells. This can be aging cells. This can be cancer cells. This can be cysts or scar tissue. This can be any number of things that is not an injury or an infection. So now you know the story behind inflammation and how it comes about. Not every drug your doctor gives you for inflammation is going to work. Not every antibiotic is going to work against infection and inflammation. Not every chemo and radiation is going to work against cancer. But a proper immune system will always work to fight infection, to detect cancer cells, and to heal your body properly all the time. It's been doing it for years, and it can be rebuilt when you need it the most. Thank you.